Hi everybody, it's good to be back. I was gone for a while, I apologize. It was kind of a short, long winter. Um, I did want to point out though, for those who have followed me a long time, that uh, you know that I shaved my head on June 29th, I believe it was, and um, this is, today is February the 25th, so this is the regrowth, um, which is probably to be expected. When I shave women's head that are going through chemo treatment, I usually tell them, especially if they have longer hair, that it'll take a couple years before they get their before they get back to the style that they like. And so that seems to be pretty much right on par with where my hair, my hair length is. I have not cut any of it. I haven't touched it with shears or with clippers. This is just what it is. And I'm not still some, you know, it's still fine and thin, but it filled in pretty well. Um, I'm not a fan of the texture, but I did have COVID the first week of January. So that's that may change things up. It, and as we've heard and read and seen, there's been a lot of hair loss with COVID. And so I haven't noticed any more, honestly, than I before. So I'm, I'm not really concerned about that. I wasn't very sick with it. I just tested positive. But um, anyway, that's the hair regrowth update. So, get that out of the way. I, today, want to compare a couple different styles from different companies that are very similar. So, I thought that might be helpful for those of, you know, there are times that the heat defiant products don't work for some people. And then other people love them because they know they can do some styling or you can take that friction frizz out. So I pulled a couple different wigs. One is a heat friendly style that's really been popular in my, my shop. Oh gosh, I should tell you who I am, I guess. Um, my name is Diane and I own Red Poppy Wigs in the Kansas City area in Overland Park, which is on the Kansas side. I have been a licensed cosmetologist for over 40 years and have been working just only with wigs for about the past 12, 13 years. Uh, I started out in the hospital, a hospital setting and managed two hospital wig salons or image renewal salons as we call them to help women get through the cancer treatment and whatever that meant, hair, prosthetics and bras, compression garments. And then after one of the stores closed, the last store closed, I was encouraged to open my own shop. So that's what I did. And um, here we are now, so that's all good. I'm gonna set this water on the floor. So anyway, getting my hair off my face, I'm going to put on my nylon for hygiene, as a licensed cos oh that one's that one's old. Um, as a licensed cosmetologist, I always make sure to do this on everybody that comes in. It's just for your safety, and until you actually own the wig, um, that's what this is for. Otherwise, I don't necessarily I don't really recommend them. They're kind of slippery, but every some people like them. Anyway, going back to what we're doing today, after learning a little bit more about me, I'm first going to show you Raquel Welch's Flirt Alert. I love it. I have gone through several of them in different colors. I think they're just so much fun. It was probably one of, well, yeah, right after it came out, I started wearing that and it just, I really have enjoyed the blondes, the brunettes, the reds, whatever. So uh, today I'm gonna show it to you in the Cinnabar, which is the 3231. It is a heat, f and I'm gonna compare it to the traditional style, traditional synthetic 
which is not heat friendly, uh, wig of Gabor, which is called twirl, twirl and Curl, in the dark carp copper color, which is a 3032. So, um, and I've not taken that one out of the box and I've not tried it on. So this is the, this is the Cinnabar. It's a great red. It's just a, just a really beautiful red. It may look all the same color on the video, but it's got a lot of different reds in there and I, I love it. Um, I wear this color a lot. Inside the Flirt Alert, we have a lace front, temple to temple, and then a left side part that is hand tied. So that, it makes it really affordable because there's not a lot of hand tying. And it's a real pretty beach wave. So I'll show you what it looks like. You know, for, for me, I have a larger head and it's sometimes challenging to get wigs on, but this one fits pretty well. I don't, it's, I mean, it's not roomy or anything, but it's not, I can get it on my head. Uh, so I, that's fabulous. And I want to show you the lace front. This one I've had for a while. So oh, there's my hair. So we don't want that lovely hair showing. Um, and y you can see I've got a bigger head. So I tend to, I'll pull some of these things down. If I'm apart here. But I want to show you the lace, the lace front and how pretty that is. But I do have Irish, you know, Irish ancestry. So a red's going to go well with my skin tone as well as my green eyes. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but it makes my eyes look a lot greener than they do ordinarily. But this is the Flirt Alert. Very cute. I love the length. If you've worn heat defiant wigs or heat friendly wigs, you know, the longer they are, the faster they wear out. So this is great because it, it, it doesn't rub on my shoulders or my clothing. Um, you can see the, the beachy wave. I won't touch it too much. And then, and I like this one too because it stays off my face pretty well. You know, I don't have to do too much to it to keep it off my face. So that is Flirt Alert in Cinnabar, 32, 32, 31. Okay, so the next one, like I said, it's a Gabor Twirl and Curl, and it's straight out of the box, never been opened. And so this is how they package the brand new wigs. There's the, the tissue paper, and then there's information about the wig. Because this one is a beachy wave, there's a little warning on it to not brush it, which you should use a wide tooth comb. I use my fingers, I don't brush them at all. But um, anyway, that's that helps keep it. And then they wrap, they put in, sometimes they're inside out, sometimes they're right side out. And then there's a net over them and then tish, more tissue to help them keep their shape. So I will take this and give it a good, good shake. I hold it from the, from where the tap, the names are, and then just shake it good. I don't have my product here. Sometimes I'll spray some of the Restore, the Raquel Welch Restore, just to get um, that just to kind of loosen it up and make it look a little nicer. Um, this one, because it's not heat defying, it's gonna be a little shinier, but we can take care of that with some dry shampoo. It's not bad. I mean, I, it wouldn't bother me, but some people it does bother. I also want to show you when new wigs come to you, if, you're, if you haven't gone to a shop and bought one, what you should expect. And what I see when I open the wig is that the parts are zigzagged. 
and I've had women ask me about that before. The reason for that is to keep, so there's not a part that's just kind of stuck in there. Um, because with, with this, and it too has the temple to temple lace front and the side hand tied on the, the left side hand tied, the twirl and curl, twirl, good grief, I can't even talk. The, um, yeah, twirl and curl, which is a Gabor wig, but the, the crisscross part or the zigzag part is to keep it from just setting in there and, and staying in that one place. So here we go, we'll see if it fits my head. And I'll put my head measurements below. It's a little smaller, it's an average, but it's a little smaller than the other one but it's not terrible. I think I could, I think after I wore it for a while, cause it'll, it'll stretch a little bit and I'm gonna try to also get that part out. There we go. So, but you can see the cur the colors pretty close to the flirt alert. It's, it's pretty close, it's a little redder but it's not too far off. And the curls are somewhat similar. They're not exact, but nothing is ever exact. It's a little bit shorter. But it will also stay off. It's like, like I said, it's got the lace, so it's going to stay off your face. This one's really cute. I like this one a lot. Um, twirl and curl. I'm a, I'm a side tucker. I do that on my hair and all the wigs. But, um, yeah, that's that's a really cute, a cute wig. I will um, put all the information about both wigs down below as far as the name, the color, the length, and... Um, if they if they give me a weight, I'll put that down as well. My head size, my contact information. So please feel free if there's anything that I can help you with or answer any questions for you. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this for a very, very long time and um, would be happy to, to help you in any way or guide you. All the wigs fit differently. I mean, I'm just, that's just the reality of it. If you were buying any other garment, you know, you've not, you know that, you've done it. So I, I would very much encourage you to go to someone who is familiar with the wigs that they're selling so they can guide you to what's gonna work best for you, for your head shape, for your face shape, for your coloring. Um, that's You're gonna get the best use out of your product and you're not gonna have it sitting in a drawer somewhere. So I've seen it too many times to, and I know that that's what happens, but Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like, subscribe, share. If you know other you know, other women who are interested in wigs or who have hair loss issues, it's very, very common and it's very, very demoralizing and frustrating and traumatic and I get that. So let me know how I can help. Um, I'd be happy to do whatever I can. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. We compared Flirt Alert and Cinnabar and the wig that I have on is Twirl and Curl and it is in the dark copper color. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much.